Okay, so now we're going to uh, bump this up into three dimensions, and uh, I brought line length up here, and then I also brought in a pie list component uh, from way back when, and we'll be using it later. I'm going to put a Z in, and I'm going to um, have it be an integer. I'm going to copy and paste that. Okay, so I think that's all we need for the outside of the component. Uh, now we just need to uh, set this up so it is a... Uh, we need to add another nested loop inside of, um, inside of this for our k value. And so we have i, j, and so we need to do for k in range points per side and uh, we need to append another list in and we're going to do i at i k or i j I mean we're going to append a blank list and uh, Actually, before we do this, I'm going to um, scale this down. So, uh, so if it bugs out, it won't have as many values to work with. Okay, so we've appended that in. I'm gonna. We need to add k here. Okay, so now we we have all, all of it set up, but the point that we're or the line that we're adding in isn't changed, hasn't changed. So we need to bring in and uh, set it up so our Perlin value affects it. So our point is at i j k times resolution our noise we need to switch this over to three-dimensional noise and then add in a k component or not a k component a k argument scale p and uh, I, th I think that's all we need to do so test so we have one okay so our z is we're getting you know corresponding z uh, corresponding to and uh, okay so uh, let's take a look at it without the X Y and Z it looks like this is working but we want to look at our list and uh, to do that we're getting a list out you know we have that nested list and we have another list to go and another list to go I'm just going to see. Okay, so now if we uh, recompute it by pressing F5, we're getting out our um, value. And um, I'm going to scale the resolution back up. Yeah, we can go all the way out to 100. So now we have a thousand uh, values in here in our three-dimensional Perlin noise so that's kind of uh, kind of cool um, you can see that uh, we just have it set up as a 
you know, 2D values still, but that's that's okay for what we're doing.